everyone and welcome back to another gameplay of God of War Ragnarok. We continue changing the scene and uh, yeah, we need to escape or just go through uh, the Alfheim back uh, to the Misty Gate and uh, uh, I guess back to our home that we currently have. Let me change here. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, um, let's see how do we go back. And we need to discuss what, uh, I guess, back here. Okay. Same way Perhaps back. We focus on our egress first. Agreed. What what else do you have for me? When they throw explosive material, here's on the throw it right back at them. Or knocking off their mask? Wait. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I read this. Oof. Okay. Ah, oh, we got everything, just run back. Okay, hello, Samurai. Bye bye. See if you can parry his dashing slash to open up to counter attack to open him up. <laughs> to open up counter attack, yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Bye bye. Alright. Take that. Give me that. Watch out! Right 
Right behind you. There is rage. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, I am prepared. Oh. Wait. Alva? Fight. God. that Ooh. they got her <laughs> Alva winters ago we defeated the dark elf king whatever his name is uh, <laughs> her name is much simpler it appears in his absence, a new guardian of the Temple of Light was anointed. Her swordsmanship and command of her form was unlike any I have gone up against. She was the aggressor, but once, against, uh, once again, Atreus questions if we have helped the wrong side. Referring to the struggle between the Light and Dark Elves, the only side we can take in this conflict is our own. Ooh. Okay. No. 
Oh, okay, frozen flame, but I'll be at the next. Okay. I mean, he bodied that one guy and he was done. Uh, he ends a blessing, the blessing of cooldown when interrupting double blue reek attacks or parrying. Ah, well, I'm using vitality and luck with this. Uh, chan high chance to grant a rage burst. Oh, hmm. I'll keep the one that I have right now. Ugh. It is over. It is far from over. He is angry. I. It's gonna be okay, dear. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent. elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. Okay. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Yeah. So what do you propose? Oh no! No! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on! Over here! You're chained! Alright. You guys were fast. Thank you. Agreed. Uh. Oh. Why you it? Oh, sir. Let's go home. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. All right. Uh, well, that was uh, a fast way down. Look, I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. Uh. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough. We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. <laughs> Ooh. Armory, huh? Hmm. Make your way. Hello guys. I'm so sick of fighting out. Can they just leave us alone?
Ah, yeah. Seldom does power come without cost. Alheim's des desert wasn't always a storming and barren wasteland. No, before the temple was built, the desert was teeming with life. Now the light deprived elves of the barons, wage constant war upon their counterparts in the light well. In their eyes, the lake of souls is not theirs to use. How could one blame them? They watched their home waste away as their cousins grew powerful. Dark elves prefer a tactic of smurving you as a group, disrupt them efforts with heavy hits and parries. Dark elves may recover in the air from being launched, but not if you launch them once frosted. Oh. Ah. Ah. All right. Oh. Okay, interesting. Jesus Christ. That's one. Uh, I guess I have rage here. Let's go, let's go. Bit tougher than most Dark Elves, these warriors spend their time training and executing routines to the most efficient and deadly extent. As with most Dark Elves, flight remains an important part of their strategy. Should they attack, the sooner we can ground them, the sooner we can get the upper hand. Their charge attacks cause temporary blindness, which I know you especially hate. They are much easier to kill when grounded. Trip them up if you have the chance. Okay. Who's next? Jesus Christ, that was one jump? Let's keep moving. All right. Oh, 
So, Light Elf Warrior, see if you can parry. Yeah, if you dodge his other melee sword swings, he will be open to the counter attack. Good to know. Alright. Oh my god. Keep pushing forward. That's a summoner? Dark Elf Summoner. Summoners possess the unique ability to call in reinforcements at a moment's notice. Not that cooperation is a particularly novel concept. If anything, it's one of the more effective strategies out there as overwhelming an enemy can be the quickest way to the victory. As such, summoners should be taken down as soon as we spot them so as to prevent them from fulfilling their duties. Yep. All right. Okay. Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Ah. Is that it? Here. Open the gateway, please. Okay. That was, uh, interesting. You want war, Trace? See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. Oh. We should see this desert for ourselves. All right. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are just gold it. started. We will discuss it back home. A treasure map. I wish to search for the wood panel. Whoa. Okay. Objective information. Okay. Uh, I'm probably covering the text. In search of peace, the beast finds only war, its last breath of life atop the sands, its last meal of gold beneath the bones. Oh, those look like some sort of jaws? Uh... Valeria. You? Really? Mm. Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. <laughs> oh, hello, Raven. Ah. Come on. Oh, I got 
gotta remember to ask here about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. Ay ay ay! I can. Can I go up there? <laughs> Probably much easier to hit that thing. Let me see. You should be able to reach the barrens up top. You find a way past this hive map. I remember these things. Definitely dark elf territory. Oh. Oh, that's the way up. Hmm. Uh. Wait. What is down here then? Let me check this for a second. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Did you do anything? I didn't even... Okay. I guess I couldn't climb up here before. Oh no, I, di I wasn't paying that much attention. Okay, very open area. Ay, ay, ay. Ah. He's bird. Thank God. Okay, what does this place have? Uh, no, I didn't want that. I wanted map. One more lore and that's it. Oh, okay. Hail, fellow travelers. Oh, hello. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Okay, secret of the sands. The sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Hmm. Here we go. The just keeps getting stronger. Yep. That's uh, very nice, actually. Okay. Want something in particular? Uh. Have we more to talk about? Hmm. Gotta track that. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with rock band from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is rock band from Alfheim? Oh, that's um, I don't know if. Well, do you know what a juicy nokin is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, uh. what is a juicy... No. <laughs> Alright. That's the gateway. And that's where we continue. <laughs> Okay. I will. U naturliker? Two Gulun sit in front of this marker that says unnatural. They are tied to a sled and completely calm. Strange. How long have they sat there? They just as well behaved as Specky and Swan. Oh. All right. Oh, these two. Well, hello. What are these animals? Go on. Native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Oh. Well, well. I guess this is uh, a little more open world as I imagined. That's everything here, but the, I guess the desert is a big place. Okay, <clears throat> let's check this place. So here we have the gold. We're sprinting R2. Oh, okay. 
Um, well, building cases resistant to damage and being staggered during scale. Oh, I, I do actually like that. I like the protection in this like um, animation that we have. Okay, but let's see what is down here. So it's stances. Oh, yes, please. Very nice. Let's keep, take, take this one. Uh, consideration and damage. Okay, could be cool. Aim. Oh, whoa, aim at press during frost awaken to throw the Levata eggs with extreme force, locking the targets backwards. Deal is very high damage and frost and can break an enemy guard. Alright. Corona Frost is full. Press until to consume the meter and activate. It has all Levite and X melee attacks with far reaching waves of frost for duration. Oh. Okay. This one is. Oh! Press alt or barehanded to quickly call and perform a powerful spin attack. Press immediately after for a follow up slash. Got it. Well, at this point, I can just. Take everything. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, can't do anything for the blades. Atreus, this is 2000, right? Okay. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated Gulon. Most unusual. Who's slightly? Ooh. Okay, I need to learn a little bit for this. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's go. That's a big door. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? Okay, that's something. Oh, it's blocked. Huh. Jesus Christ. Find it if we keep going. All right. What is this place? A refuge for the dark elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that are barred from the temple. Great. They're below. Okay. This place: normal chest, legendary chest, and lore. All right. Wow. That's interesting. Huh. Oh. This is the place for the dark elves. Yeah. Oh. 
at least there is a change in color for me to know. Ah. Uh, not really. Jackpot? Oh. What? What are these spots really? But there is a... Okay. <laughs> Labor for broken pots. Okay, interesting. Oh. Okay. Mm, need to do this from above. <clears throat> oh, I see. Oh. Patience. A bat you or a threat? Depends hmm. on the reader. Okay, that's a wall art and the patience. Found deep within a dark elf cave. They must use these as outposts to launch raids on the temple. A useless spot to watch their enemy and plan their next assault. Truly. Yes. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. Ah. Oh. The creature you had. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just. I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? <laughs> I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um okay uh. Well, I cannot throw with this. Interesting. Oh. Huh. Does it need to be double? Hmm. Go oh, down here first. Ah. 
Alright. Ah. Here we go. Whoa. <clears throat> okay, that's one, two, uh, hello. So wait, from here? Whoa. Okay, maybe I need to open this first. Here we go. Okay, all right, Jesus. Looks like a fun place. First, let's do this. It worked. Okay, nice. Okay. Oh, let's see what this is. What this place is all about? One. Oh Lord, give me a second. Dark Elf Lord, the largest and strongest of the Dark Elves we faced. Lords weaponize light and use it to temporarily blind their enemies before landing a devastating attack on them as if they couldn't simply crush your skull on their own. Perhaps the tactic makes the deaths of their enemies more humane. Terribly strong, with the thickest available armor, you will need to track when they will finish out an attack sequence that leaves them open to countering. Well, okay. <laughs> Using magical elemental attacks to freeze or otherwise weaken them will prevent them from recovering in mid-air once launched or disrupted. Okay. Well, I do see rage over here, so... This is fun. If you wish to abandon this creature, we will leave. Oh no, not want to abandon it. But if 
we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there. I remember a young lad who, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we should have. Well, um, I believe we are a long way past that, Atreus. Coming. Oh. All right. Interesting. Nice. We are coming close. Lovely. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Ooh. Okay. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He generally wants to help him. Uh all right. That's so amazing. And satisfying to look at. Where? Chest up there. Okay. Hmm. What? Here? Is this like the nightmare? Uh, I guess this was the nightmare's nest. Interesting. Hmm. Is that the creature? What is this sound? Hey, get you, he's ghost! That's the largest bloody half-gibar I've ever laid 
eyes on. It's not just his name. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. You don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been charged uh. here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Luke. We'll get you out. Yo, uh. what is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Diener, so... Oh boy. Well, I appreciate the attempt at humor. That little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. A giant jellyfish, huh? Uh... Alright. There's gotta be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. Oh wait. Oh. All right. So first this. Hmm. surface now oh open the hive cage on the surface so huh interesting why did they trap it down here half of us are known to burrow so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends but it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves. Any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. Ah. The Light Elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side. The Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved. Now. Hmm. Oh, uh, chest armor? Moderate luck chance to grant a blessing of runic on any last second fade. Whoa, look at these stats. <clears throat> My voice is going with that. Strength and luck, insane. We only lose free runic. And what this? Uh, frost, weep, hit, have moderate chance of blessing. Yeah, it's a perfect upgrade. Damn, that's amazing. Okay. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> huh. Alright. This is a huge place. Uh, well, I guess if, if we go help, maybe there will be no uh, sandstorm like this after that. I just do the mission, and then we will explore. We can cut the half group loose here. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Freeze! It flies? Of course it flies! It's a half-cooper! Yo! So much happier now! And hey, 
the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, huh. thanks for bringing us out here. I had to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnar, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered he just wants to spend time with your lad while he still can? Really? <laughs> I do not know what lies ahead, but if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I, Aww. I don't know what to say. Yo. Thank you for bringing us out here. Damn, that got me a little emotional, not gonna lie. Have Gufa. We have discovered that the source of the sandstorm in the barrens was a creature Mimir calls a have Gufa. <laughs> I encountered something like this as a boy, but it was a much smaller sea creature that did not fly. Now that the storm has subsided, we can explore the desert freely and collect resources. To the west, we can see another sandstorm, likely caused by another half Gufa. We should ease this creature's pain when the time is right. Oh, there are more? As am I. Oh, that was amazing. That's so cool. Okay. What is here? Huh. Oh. Okay. You guys still want to fight, huh? Okay, come here. He can block everything? Even in rage? That was a useless rage. Take that. <sighs> Thank you. Stacking that, um, like holding this attack to a diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the what. Found pages stolen from an ancient tome. The pages contain the diagram of lost forgotten sword hilts. If you can find the ingredients, I believe the dwarves can have these relics once again. Oh! Interesting. Dwarves, they'll know what to do with it. <laughs> what I want to say, this, like, um, extra is very cool. What is this? Uh, the last second invade activates realm shift ever slowing down sliding that was so cool when we had it like like a talisman yo I'm taking this 100% wait was there a raven Maybe? I'm not sure. A horn. Oh. Okay. Horn. Not to be confused with Yalar horn. This piece symbolizes peace. Or at least prayers hope for peace. It was set amongst the more easily excitable of the elves that one day prayer 
would blow the horn of quiet and is so doing bring an end to the war between the elves. Just wishful thinking, I'm afraid. No prophecy ever spoke of such a horn and as far as I can tell no such item exists. But what that didn't stop the elves from hoping. Can't fault them for that. Yeah. And Lord. Tower's purpose. Okay, though it now serves as a military outpost, this tower's architecture indicates a different function in time before the division of light and dark. I could find no mention within the archives, which is not altogether unusual. Many of the texts within have been sanitized across generations, but the very absence of any information is telling in and of itself. What sacrilegious ceremonies were held here so immunical to our current status quo that the librarians eradicated all mention of this tower's true purpose? I can help, but I assume the answer is the key to the lasting peace, the consul. Alright. So, wait a second. How much is here? Two Odin Ravens. Huh. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh. Bam. All right. Do the next thing. Brother, you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. <laughs> yeah, yes. Carry on there. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another storm out that way. I think that means... Another half, you far. Okay. So, magic gates. Subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretation. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heat witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. Bold. <laughs> we'll finish later. Okay, I guess we fight. Ah. Jogger guard? Jogger aren't exactly master technicians, but they can hold up a shield when it suits them. Makes them even more of a nuisance if you're trying to move them <laughs> down quickly. Breaking their block seems the quickest way to dispatch them. Swing quietly won't break its guard, but if you use your shield strike, you should be able to find an opening. Double tap. Heading attacks can also break the Jogger guard's guard. <laughs> okay. Ooh. 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 
Ah. Whatever. <laughs> Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. We will see. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? Stealthy approach? What is that? Okay. Ha. Huh. Mm, that's everything here, right? Lego. Returning to my anecdote about the heat witches, hmm? they fed the Thane a prophecy of his ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the Thane took it as confirmation. But next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Let this wait. Stay alert. I mean, you can continue the story. <laughs> I can go in here now. Hello. Huh. Interesting. Sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. <laughs> harp. A miniature harp unplayable, of course. Likely meant to reflect Freyr's musical skill. It's said that with a stringed instrument in his hand and a song on his lips, there was nothing he couldn't accomplish. No virgin too chesty, no warrior too wrathful. I like to imagine Flair was smart enough to not resort to song and dance when it came to brokering a peace between the elves. That's what I would like to imagine anyway. Huh. Okay. Can I... This should be everything at once, right? Or am I... Okay. Actually... Oh, close. Big brain. <laughs> it was a recall strategy. You said souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul? But not all of them. Okay. Uh what is this? Currently I have luck chance to grant a rage burst when padding. Okay. This one is Shield Strikes, double tap against status inflicted enemies, consume the Ailment causing a damaging elemental explosion? Huh? Uh, I do like this Rage Burst that we're having right now. I'm not really sure. Against status inflicted enemies. Hmm. I don't think so. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Use any one of them and the entire being suffers. Or mind no, direction luck. Sometimes luck alone is enough. Just ask your father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, it's the refrain of the eternally lucky. Huh. Okay. So which one does uh I guess Brock missing? I'm not sure. Back to my story. A thing of my combat. 
manipulated by prophecy, welcomes his king as a guest and murders him in his sleep. Murders many he once called friends too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threat. Physical or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but was not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and his name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. I really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. <laughs> well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, Ash. Not just dust, not dirt. Dirt. <laughs> okay. What is here? Hmm. Another tombstone. Gulon Call. Okay. Thanks to the opposition's grotesque high hypocrisy, Alheim's Gulon are a threat to our livelihood. Though I have called many of the surface, though there are undoubtedly more down below in the Dark Elves' holes. So long as we deny them access to our light, the pair at the desert's entrance shall remain the only docile version of the, these foul beasts. Let them remain. They will serve as useful subjects for further light's infusion experimentation. The Maven. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's continue. Hmm. All right. Oh. Wait. This is ginormous. Come here. You were talking about how Fenrir's soul is headed for the light of Alfheim. That's because he was a wolf, right? Aye. Were he a god or a human who died in battle, a Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Folkvonger. Ah. Huh. Being a human or god who died outside of battle, he should not down to hell, honey. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. With mothers. Yes. I see. Oh. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'm trying not to miss anything. Yeah, this is a big uh, beast over there. Huh. Well, at least it was. Alright.
Father, can we build a lyre together? Instrument. Why? We hunt, we train. Those are the only two things you do to distract yourself. They are not distractions. Oh, of course not. I just thought it'd be nice to learn some music. You could teach me, and... No. It's stupid. Never mind. Okay. All right. How can I go up there? Ah, here. Oh, wait, that's only one. Is there something I'm missing? Possibly. Why can't... Oh. Okay. Oh, you're actually coming after me. Oh, nice. The third one... Oh. Okay. Here we go. Ah. Nice. Oh, is that a raven? It's good. I always knew Sinji was a great blacksmith. This magical shield it just feels natural. The shield is well made, but it is you who wields it with skill. Thanks. <laughs> button map uh two undiscovered things one undiscovered thing is probably that graveyard thing very treasure right inside over here i believe ah that's it stone wood okay damn Unstable James Thor craving death and destruction. Oh, okay, something for Atreus. Uh, accessory Lethal Detonation. Enemies killed from a runic arrow explode, dealing moderate damage around them. Interesting. <laughs> and I guess let's go up here. Uh, lovely place you have here. Uh, what's new? The diving attack has enough force to break your guard. Interrupting it with something well timed and strong, like a thrown weapon attack. Okay. Green get frenzied with excitement when you get poisoned. Expect to hold off a rapid flurry of claw swipes until you can purge their toxicity. Oh, that's new. Uh, 
annoying was I missed it him <laughs> okay oh my god these guys are annoying I cannot focus on one guy because they are keep changing my lock this was uh, annoying actually Okay. Now I'm without stone. Uh, the desert of our ignorance. So much of who are uh, so much of who we are is lost. Not just this desiccated leviathan, nor its ilk, but the very identity of this creature is knowledgeable forgotten. Is knowledge forgotten? What it uh was it a predator, a rate of the barons to be feared and avoided, or perhaps a gentle behemoth tamed by the Peridivision elves and farmed for meat? The answer is a grain of sand in the desert of our ignorance. Our history remains buried beneath generations of dead elves. Should another manage to rise above our malignant dogma and search for answers, let these bones serve as a warning. If nothing changes, we will remain forgotten. Console. Yeah. If that, if this beast would be alive, uh, that would be very crazy. Yes, I agree. So you just refuse to pick a favorite poet? That's uncharacteristically indecisive of you. I have a favorite huh. poem already. Okay. Celestial Construct. A mind expanding poetic experience constructed by who else but Kwasir. Look around you, oh god, turn your head, guide your metal friend with care, or else it will be dead. Or will be dead. Uh, rescue its friends, experience tension, immerse yourself in a new dimension. Isn't this like the PlayStation? F uh, I forgot. I forgot what thing is called, but yeah, the robot, the Astro, right? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, let's see what is this one about. Uh, oh, okay. Um, increases defense, but I lose the runic. Um, but I get zero point seventy five second. Uh, longer. Uh, realm shift. Sure, I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right. Come on, Nola. Let's have it. You mentioned you had a favorite poem from your homeland. What was it about? A cunning general. The war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. 
Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes. Ah. But that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. And we were there. Yes. I know the ball. All right. Continuing to the stone. Hmm. What else did I forget to check out? I mean, this everything I've done, right? Mm. There are the doors, um, but I cannot go there. Oh, what is that? Ah, okay. I miss this. Mm. Brother, in my travels, I heard of a great battle in your homeland. At a place called the Gates of Fire. We heard gates. You were there? No. <laughs> is that regret in your voice? I did regret not dying there for many years, but no longer. Oh. Oh, it's pretty much done. Okay. I mean, all right. I believe that's where I should go back now. We checked out everything. Possibly. We still need to get something to unlock that doors with the runes. But that's pretty much it. That and the graveyard. Those are two un undiscoverable things. I believe so. Nice. This was a fun adventure, not gonna lie. Fun side quest. Exploring the desert. We just <laughs> bets on how many arrows could be lodged in his body until the sheer weight of them made him fall down. Ha! That's awful. Oh, no, no. He was laughing the whole time. And mine was the closest guess. 446 arrows exactly. That's horrible. You better not tell that story in front of Freya. Yes, lad. Because I've suddenly taken leave of my senses. Just saying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lovely crystal work and those elven gifts you found. I'll be happy to pay you for them. Yeah. I'm here for you. All right. Uh, can we upgrade anything? Nope. All right. Uh, that's basically you it. Need, I'll create. Relics. Oh, what is this? Slash forward three ways of flight that deal increased damage against enemies inflicted with Sonic. I need some crazy thing for this. Huh. Alright. Uh this Let's is upgradable. See, oh. Sure. Okay. Something in mind? Oops, didn't want to do that. How can I help? Uh, special items, resources, IDs. It would be cool if I had more of them. <laughs> um, so the artifacts. Ooh, these will look fantastic in my storage chest. Um. Uh, 
I mean, yeah. Hmm. I can sell this. Glad to take that off your hands and wash it. Oh, no, I will see. Whatever you need, whenever you need it. That's basically it. Hmm. Let me check the map. But yeah, we. Uh, Alfheim. Norwin chests. Right. I believe it was something. Yeah, it's, it has something to do with those statues that I have no idea what to do about them. So. We will return. No worries. Okay. Uh, to the eyes of Odin? Uh, I guess we can. We can check this out, yeah. can unlock some chest although the current gear I have I really enjoy it expanded my wares if you got the raw materials to make them oh really let's do it I mean, Wait. feels like there was something else. <laughs> like the father of all, we swung from the tree. Wisdom gained father, servitude gained we. Swung from the tree. What do you suppose that means? In life we hang. Okay. Ah, increase the healing from Hellstone Rage and Gear. I mean, uh, it's pretty much a uh, upgrade. Well, that's uh, insane. But yeah, um, hmm. damn. I mean. This realm shift, I mean, it's good to have it, but let's just... <laughs> uh, let's go with the better gear. So destroying the ravens free their spirits somehow. Good to know. Free. Well, we have Odin's control anyway. Yeah. Hello, Brock. Bye, Brock. Okay, let's go back to the house. Well, I hope Tyr's had enough time to find his equilibrium or whatever. <laughs> Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? <laughs> the giants saw to your leading armies at Ragnarok, and I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it? Uh, you don't have to. It's a prophecy. It just happens. Wait, what? Fucking mushrooms? Um, hello. So, this whole spectral squirrel business. You can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines, all part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. <laughs> my spectral forms still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints that's one word for it okay that bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work i'm standing right here you know me <sighs> <I> apologize <laughs> for him but where would it end 
Okay. Farewell for now, Master Kratos and Retinue. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. Mm. We can eat whatever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. <laughs> eat dinner. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. <laughs> Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy lives in the little things. Well, that posture, uh, maybe your back will hurt. I never said that. You're kind that way. Do your eyes say everything? Yeah. I haven't given up hope on you. Oh, you really must. <laughs> this vision of me in your mind, where I'm as good as Odin is evil, the truth is always more complicated. To imagine it simple is dangerous. Yep. So you're really not going to help us? You'll have my wise and faithful counsel always. I wish I could do more. I really do. But for now, please, allow me to cook for you. Okay. Ugh. Dress. Eat. The big table. <laughs> Okay, let's see this. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. All right. The expression. There you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. Yes, of course. <laughs> Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word that clouds your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I count it on you. I'll be safe. You have to be smart. But Use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that... You are Atreus. My son. <sighs> should eat <laughs> some people swear by it on almost a daily basis i just don't understand why is there all this stuff about loki and and the champion and iron would have none of it's real he's just so Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Okay. Sleep. <laughs> That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. Actually, yeah. I tried to didn't sleep the last night. I do too. Get out of here already. <laughs> already gone. Haha. <laughs>
Quoi Hello We are in Jotunheim Ah. Oh. Hello. What is it? I wish I'd known I was a god in Alfheim. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? Knowing what thoughts makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? Uh it's all you ever talked about over and over. Do something about it or shut up for it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. Mm -hmm. And not nice ones. Yeah. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonai! What do you want? I don't understand. Whatever. 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 At this point, not really Jotunheim, but like a, a dream realm. Okay. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. oh. <coughs> But we're God. We can do whatever we want. Yeah. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Whoa. What's happening? This is a much better night than mothers. Please stop. Oh. Huh? Hello. Huh. Hey, where are you going? All right. Hmm. Okay. Guess I'll see you around the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Can you understand me? Oh, hi there. <laughs> so, where are we going? <laughs> Got it. Um, yeah. The third one? I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? <gasps> Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here. I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. Ugh. 
like, yo, that's, uh... Huh? What's that? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. Hmm. That's a whole pack. <laughs> There's a lot of you, huh? Yo. Very. Hello. What's that smell? The air here is... I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. Impressive. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you tell me if you were going to eat me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? <laughs> I've never seen a forest like this before. Damn. All right. Huh. Hello. I guess. Okay. Going for it. Ooh. I'm not finished with it yet. Ah! Hello. Pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Yeah. Well, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been. Reading my whole life for this moment. <laughs> oh. You look weirder than I imagined. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <gasps> um, was that mean? Kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. Understood. And weird can be good. Yeah. Uh, thanks. The name? Let's start over. I'm Anger Boda. Anger Boda? You have a lot of questions. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Alright. Well, some of them. Huh. When you said you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough, thank you. R right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Oh, yeah. Oh. New skills of verbal? Uh... Oh my god! Uh... Okay... Hmm... Additional damage. Low time by pressing. Ooh. Okay, last second. Oh my god. 
Okay. Additional runic arrow. After a parry, press quick shot. Are we going to fight? At this point, I would assume that. Um, I do like this. Uh, this is very um, costly, let's say that. Let's take these that were for the invading. This one is for the combo. Uh, yo. Okay. And I guess I'll take this one. Uh, hmm. Sure. Jesus Christ. I'll, uh, take my own path. <laughs> so, where am I exactly? I was in this weird fog. Oh, yeah, I've heard that Utengar can be disoriented. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. So, this is Ironwood. I guess the dreamy realm. <laughs> She's fast. So, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the forest of the giants if he doesn't think it exists. <laughs> forest of the giants. That's what some people call it. Call them. Huh. Okay, I guess let me check the map first. Uh yeah, okay. Not really getting much information here. Giants were all supposed to be giant. Wow. Huh. So, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. Huh. Whoa. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. She fights with pain. Surviving Thumble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. <laughs> Very colorful. I'll be up above you, but keep going the way you're going. <laughs> okay. All right. Is that chainmail? I wonder what Brock and Sindri would think of that. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? <laughs> you Midgard giants are strange. They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. Uh. I mean, this forest, I can very easily just miss some things. What? Alright. 
right? Hmm. Uh. Huh. Okay. The tree. Mother said the other races of the nine realms look at the world as individual trees in, in a forest. They see people and nature and time and destiny as separate elements, but not us. They ought to know that these are all branches of the same tree, that you can't separate love from fate from the flap of a bird's wings without harming the tree itself. Maybe that's why I saw no fear in her eyes when she talked about walking her path. When she talked about her in the impending death, sometimes that comforts me. Knowing her and father's passing were just one branch in a great and ever-growing tree. Other times, I just miss them. Who, who wrote this? <laughs> Do you like breaking stuff? This is something my father... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Ah. Do you see anything you could use like last time? Here we go. Looking good. Thanks. Wait, what? It looks like you're going the right way. Oh, yeah. Totally. All right. I met another living giant. <laughs> Maybe one who holds my destiny. What? Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Let's see this. Ooh, summons a spectral ibex to ride and charge into enemies. Finally, something. A runic summon. Hmm. Oh. All right. Everything's okay, right? Yeah. I'm just in a magical forest that shouldn't exist. Talking to another giant and she's Yeah. <laughs> uh Well. Uh, don't try to wake up from this, I guess. Still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Oh, all right. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they? Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Crazy place. Loki! Whoa! Oh, 
Whoa! <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Okay. Help me with this? Oh, sure. Medallion. Edis? Race you across? <laughs> what? Go! Uh, okay. Okay. She's fast, you know. I can slow down. <laughs> Let's go. How big is this place? Whoa. Well, then you should know how to beat them. Um. It's usually not so lively around here. I guess I'm just lucky. Nah, you're just Loki. I was getting comboed by that. Shrines where she chronicled Groa's vision. It was her way of ensuring the legacy of our people would live on, despite the Aesir's best efforts. Oh, wow. <laughs> a 
you'll see plenty more button games today. I hope so. <sighs> All right. Here. Hmm. Oh. Isn't that been your magic? Where do you think they learned it from? Here we are. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. This way. Wow. Huh. Tree house. Holy moly. Okay. Anger Buddha. There's a girl here in Ironwood. Her name is Anger Buddha and she's the same age as me. A giant too. She's real funny and she paints and is friends with the wolves here. She is unlike anyone I've ever met in so many different ways. She says she has been waiting her whole life to meet me, which sounds so crazy. It's actually a lot of pressure to try to meet whatever expectation she has of me. I just need to stay calm and get a better feel for everything what's going on here. Be but not wow, so much is happening so fast. Truly. Wait, is this my shrine? I've been wanting to see it again. For many giants, there is beauty in learning your path and walking it. Of course, ready? others yeah. see the future and get I'm ready. messed up by it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Will he saw? Is he going to see the last panel? We scattered mother's ashes. It was on the wall. Everything had happened already. Just the way it said. But this part was damaged. Oh, that's us. It's in the bag. Oh, I wonder who he is. Yeah. No, no, it's not right. That can't be what happened. No, 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 no. this isn't real. Iron was not real. The Ungar's not real. None of this is real. Ah! Hey, hey, hey. hey. Okay. Uh. Fine. Uh, sorry. I don't know what happened. Oh, don't worry about it. It happens to everyone. That happens to everyone? Not the wolf part, but getting scared about your future. That cannot be my future. It says I serve Odin and my father dies. There's just no way. Look, this is the only way things turn out. The sooner you accept that, the better. Oh, shit. I was mean to. Ugh. Forget about that now. Forget the future. Forget Loki. You're a giant. And you're clearly coming into some powers that you don't understand yet. Come on, let's take a walk. You can help me with something and I'll teach you. You know, <laughs> giant stuff.
<sighs> All right. I believe I here is the the place I will call it a day. Uh, this was uh, insane. Well, uh, at least he knows now the future, and I don't know if uh, Kratos knows the whole story, or yeah, he only notices he only noticed that he is gonna die, right? Or um so i'm not sure how well inversed into the future is kratos but he's not thinking of that actively so yeah uh this was uh something new for tress and or for loki at this point and uh i guess we'll find out what really happens what will happen in the next one so yeah thank you for checking this one out if you enjoyed give it a thumbs up leave a comment below with your thoughts on it if you're new to the channel subscribe to get better notifications so be informed of my next reactions gameplays reviews and other things you guys put in the comments below for me to check out i'll see you in the next one bye